Today, I have a mini sewing notions counter for you. I'm using supplies from my friends at Gypsy Soul Laser Cuts for the counter and display boxes, but I'm also going to show you how to create all the bits to fill your counter with. There's a download available in my Etsy shop for the miniature labels and guides, but you could absolutely create your own. First, we'll make some bolts by wrapping fabric around a piece of cardboard which measures around 3 quarters of an inch by 2 and 1 quarter inches. Thinner fabrics are easier to work with when creating miniatures. I'm holding my fabric in place with a bit of double sided tape. Next, mini yarn. I'm using another piece of cardstock and wrapping craft yarn, often used for making woven bracelets, or embroidery thread, and I'm going to wrap it around about 20 times. I'll carefully slip the wrapped thread off of the card and then wrap the thread around the middle. A tiny drop of glue will hold everything in place. To complete the look, I'll add labels. To create the wee sewing patterns, I'm cutting out little envelopes. Then I fold over the edges and apply some glue then press into place. I want to ensure that the glue doesn't stick the front and back together and keep the envelope closed. Cut the sewing directions, fold and slip into the envelopes. A miniature bias tape now, created by wrapping thin ribbon around some snips of cardboard. Double sided tape again will keep everything securely in place.
using more double-sided tape to make it easy to wrap the tiny label and keep that in place also. Measuring tapes are next. Tiny button cards now. I'm going to use little self adhesive craft embellishments as my buttons. Decorations usually used for manicures also work well to give the impression of little buttons. Now for some spools of thread. I place 1 8 inch doweling against a ruler and mark every quarter inch. I place a blade at each mark and then roll the dowel cutting through the surface. The pieces can then be snapped apart. Then I sand the ends flat. Punch rounds from cardboard using a standard paper punch. You'll need two for each spool. Glue your cardboard rounds to each end of the cut dowel to create your tiny spool. Wrap thread around your spools and glue the end in place. your punch again to cut spool labels and then glue them to the end. Now 
I'm assembling the boxes that will make up my display. I'm using a mini book box as well as a miniature suitcase kit from Gypsy Soul Laser Cuts. Rather than use them together, I'll use the top and bottom of the suitcase as two separate display pieces. Finally, the shop counter is assembled. I'm painting the interiors white and will embellish the exteriors with scrapbook paper. Now to begin assembling all the pieces and filling those boxes with my sewing notions. I prepare my display. A bit of transparency will act as glass for my display counter. All those little bits come together and my notions counter is complete. Pop over to the blog link in the video description for product links and more babbling. And whether you create your own sewing display or something uniquely yours, remember that tiny details make a big difference and they totally add to the magic of what you make. Remember to share that magic with me and show off the wonderful things that you create because I love to see the things you make.